Hi everybody. Our test team and luxury car buyers alike have long favored the Mercedes-Benz E-Class. The E-Class meets all of your expectations for a vehicle in this price range. It has a luxurious interior, powerful engines, and technology features that really make driving easier. And that's before you look through the list of options, which includes features like soft closing doors, 23 speaker audio, and massaged front seats. The E-Class can be purchased as a sedan, coupe, convertible, or even wagon, depending on your requirements. On the road, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class feels balanced and smooth, with a smooth powertrain that does its job without much fuss. We evaluated the sedan E454 Matic. When Sport Drive Mode is selected, the E-Class's all-wheel drive system does an excellent job of transmitting power to the pavement and imparting a sporty impression. Although there isn't much feedback from the steering, it's quick and light, making it easy to move through parking lots or tight city streets. Despite the E-Class's smooth brakes, our testing revealed some of the longest panic braking figures for a luxury car in a while, at 60 to 0 miles per hour. The six-cylinder engine makes a soft growl when you press the gas pedal. At stoplights, the mild hybrid system makes it possible to seamlessly stop and start the engine without experiencing any vibrations. You can control the system using a touchpad on the center console because it uses Mercedes MBUX infotainment system. The new steering wheel is the biggest problem. Because the seat and steering wheel can be adjusted, getting into a comfortable driving position is simple. It is simple to see and reach all of the gauges and controls. The Mercedes-Benz MVUX infotainment system propels the E-Class to the top of its class in terms of overall technology. A comprehensive list of features, straightforward controls, excellent device integration thanks to Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a smartphone app, as well as a few truly useful voice controls, make the new infotainment system a significant improvement over the previous system. The augmented overlay is excellent for providing turn-by-turn -turn directions and the navigation system is simple to use. We also like the Burmester audio system, which is an option. Additionally, Mercedes' most up-to-date driver assistance features are included in the E-Class. We only wish it were simpler to operate the steering wheel controls. Having said that, the space itself is tall and wide, making it simple to fit things inside. The E-Class outshines many other luxury vehicles in terms of storage capacity thanks to its glove box, door pockets, and center console of a respectable size. Behind plastic covers that are easy to find, there are access points for car seats. The EPA estimates that the E450 sedan we tested gets 25 mpg combined, which is better than the previous model's turbocharged V6. It is also just as efficient as an E350 with all-wheel drive and a four-cylinder engine, giving you more power and better gas mileage. On our mixed driving evaluation route, we achieved 27.1 mpg indicating that the estimates of fuel economy should be accurate. Mercedes even gets the tiniest details right, like how the air vent knobs feel when they click. A basic, powertrain, and rust warranty of 4 years and 50,000 miles is included with Mercedes. All of it exudes luxury and feels like the industry standard it has been for a few years. It's also fun to drive, but not in the way of an athletic sports sedan. 
due to its powerful engine, which provides effortless power and a comfortable ride that makes it enjoyable to simply cruise in, it is more like a Q-ship. Which E-Class is suggested? As of this writing, Mercedes-Benz has not provided any official information regarding the 2023 E-Class. The driver assistance package is a near must-have option for the E-Class because it includes standard luxury car features like adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assistance. Models of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class the E450, on the other hand, can be purchased as a wagon, coupe, convertible, or sedan. The base E350 is only available as a sedan. The AMG E53, on the other hand, is offered as a sedan, coupe, or convertible. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.